I like seeing in kink drills because they're really like exciting and different. And uh, I mean, there's just so many different ones out there, you know. I would say the inspiration was honestly the spot. That kink drill is one of the best ones I've ever seen. And as soon as I saw people skate it and saw like videos of it and stuff, I was like, damn, crook nollie flip is 100% possible on that. And uh, when it came to thinking about the last tricks for my part, I was like, that, that definitely has to be one of them. First day, I think I tried it for like two and a half hours. And uh, most of the times when I would get on the crook, as soon as I hit that first kink, I like wouldn't be balanced right to be right in the middle and be ready for the flip out. And then there was so many times too where I would make it to the end and it's not even worth trying to flip out because you, you can just feel it's not there, you know? I was getting really tired, but I still, I still felt like I had it in me to keep going. And I still felt like it was gonna happen. And of course the cops come. I mean, that's part of skating, but man, that is, that is the worst feeling. Like when you've been battling a trick for so long and you still feel like you got it and then the cops pull up, you're like, dude, this is the worst possible situation ever. I was so pissed. Yeah, I'd probably said like three words the entire night after that. I was so mad. Even the next day when we went back there, I was still mad because I was so sore and my knees hurt so bad just warming up. But as soon as I got warmed up and I started going for it again, I felt good and I was hyped up. And I knew I was gonna make the one I landed as soon as I got to that last kink because I felt that I was like right on top of it and my feet were in the right spot. When I made it, I feel like I had to like second, second think it. I felt like it wasn't real for a second. Um, but yeah, as soon as I rolled away, I was, I was so pumped. I shot out my board and I was just like, wow, finally, finally went down. So as soon as I landed that, I was, uh, I mean, I was hyped to go skate something else. And there was a couple things in mind, but um, the main thing I wanted to go try was the 5-0 in Berkeley. I feel like it's always kind of easier to like keep a session going and like land another trick after you just landed something good because you're just, you're in a good mood. You, you want to you wanna go out there and get something else, you know? And uh, that kink trail, dude, that thing's amazing. It's crazy how like good the kink is and how good the curve is, everything. I mean, I, I gotta give props to like Riley and Kirby for even skating that thing first because that thing's, that thing's amazing. The 5 went good. As soon as I started leaning into the curve, it, it felt really good. And um, when it came to getting close to land it, I, I almost got another piece of wood to get more speed because 5-0, you're obviously like dragging your foot the whole time and it was just slowing me down. I think it was like the last three tries, I was like dropping it and I was like pumping, like fully trying to get as much speed as possible to make it all the way through. Riding away from that was insane. That was one of the best feeling tricks I've ever done. I like rode into the street and I was, I think my arms were up or something. And this dude honks at me. He was pissed. And I was like, bro, let me ride away from my trick, dude. I was, I was so mad. I just flipped him off. I was like, dude, you suck. Trying to ruin my ride away right now. <laughs> I feel like this is a part that I've always kind of dreamed of having. I mean, I've had probably, I think, five or six or so video parts throughout my, uh, my years. But I wasn't ever that involved in it. And the editing and the music choice in spots I really wanted to skate. I made sure this part, every trick, I was really hyped on. I'm really stoked on this part and I really hope everyone else uh, is just as stoked on it.